Today in Cannabis News, a U.S. congressional panel urges federal authorities to rethink the policy of terminating employees for using cannabis. The DEA says that granting access to medical psilocybin for cancer patients would boost the illicit drug market. And the president of Mexico weighs the possibility of placing further cannabis legalization measures on the voter ballot following the country's Supreme Court ruling on cannabis prohibition. It's Thursday, July 1st, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, an influential U.S. congressional panel has issued a report urging regulatory officials to re-examine rules that lead to federal staffers being fired for using cannabis lawfully in adherence with state statutes. The House Appropriations Committee approved the report along with funding legislation, which includes provisions to safeguard banks that service state-authorized cannabis firms, and importantly, does not include an enduring rider that prevents Washington, D.C. from legalizing recreational cannabis commerce. Although the staffing verbiage isn't included in the budget bill, the guideline included in the attached report conveying the panel's viewpoints expresses backing for a recent Office of Personnel Management letter to federal departments that states that confessing to previous cannabis consumption ought not immediately disqualify individuals from working for the government. Next up, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration is requesting that a federal appeals court dismiss a lawsuit that seeks to pave the way for the therapeutic utilization of psilocybin, the primary psychoactive chemical compound in psychedelic mushrooms, claiming that enabled restricted medical accessibility would help the illicit drug market. In March, two cancer patients and a Seattle, Washington-based end-of-life care doctor sued the DEA, looking for lawful accessibility to psilocybin within state and federal right-to-try statutes, which permit patients with terminal illnesses to utilize investigational drugs that have not been licensed for general usage. The DEA is requesting that the case be dismissed or denied, claiming that the court has no jurisdiction to hear the case and that right-to-try statutes do not truly allow patients to acquire medications that are illegal under the Federal Controlled Substances Act. Enabling psilocybin to be supplied through federal right-to-try statutes would, according to the DEA, boost illegal drug trafficking. Application of the CSA to restrict the use of psilocybin by patients with life-threatening conditions thus furthers the CSA's main objectives to conquer drug abuse and to control the legitimate and illegitimate traffic in controlled substances, the DEA's brief states. Last up, Mexico's President Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador stated this week that their administration will follow the Supreme Court's recent ruling to annul federal cannabis prohibition, but that if broad legalization does not accomplish particular aims, they will consider placing more reformations on the ballot. In a press conference, President Obrador said, Of course, we are going to respect what the judicial power has decided, and we are going to evaluate. We are going to see what effects it has. Adding that, if we see that it does not help, that it is not good for the country, that it is not good for facing the serious problem of drug addiction, that it is not good for stopping violence, then we would act. From Obrador's standpoint, it's now a case of waiting and seeing how the highly uncontrolled sector performs and if a voter measure is needed. If we see that instead of helping, it hurts, we would propose a change. I would send, according to my faculties, a bill said Obrador, adding, I think we could have results in a short time. We will evaluate what happens. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Careers in Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm Devin Leal. And I'm David Fortson. Catch you next time.